unfortunately. Yeah, I think that might uh, just be his name in the draft. Yeah, and a quote, we've got everybody on the cut. B-God, who's recently become famous all over the world for a Skywrath mage. Odd, Kit, Scourge, McDuff, Overlum. I mean, they had an amazing season one of the DPC in season two. A little bit less so, but still, uh, all these guys have been performing pretty solid. What I'm most interested about is, you know, I want to talk about this draft here. As it's ending is uh, this Pango. Haven't seen this for the last couple of days here. Or, sorry, this last a day. It feels like a couple of days. Uh, I haven't seen this this last day here ever since that shadow nerf. I mean, you want to talk about that one more time for everybody watching? Yeah, a bunch of people apparently have no idea that this happened, which is like crazy to me. But it also is just like very classic Valve Dev where they just like make a massive change without saying anything. Um, so yeah, basically, Pango can no longer permanently stun any hero in Dota. Uh, between every instance of stun from Rolling Thunder, you can just use any instant cast ability or or item. So. Basically, BKBs, Yule Scepters, um, certain heroes that have like mobility spells, like stuff like that, can all just get out of Pango roll. So you can't you can't yeah. chain stun people anymore. Yes. Uh, now I want to talk about uh, <laughs> these two heroes: Digit's Prophet and Storm Spirit, who I've been seeing a lot of. It's been picked up in uh, God across all the regions, but more recently inside this BTS tournament and of course uh, the Eastern European seconds. qualifiers. New meta has been forged where you just go as many null talismans as possible when you're losing on Storm, and you play Rat Dota from anywhere from position one to five, uh, getting this Nature's Prophet. Looks like it's going to be Scourge McDuck playing at this game. So, uh, over in the mid lane, or sorry, over in the safe lane, ooh, which is going to make it pretty annoying to play a game. So the other side, they do have Medusa. Uh, so we saw how strong Snake Lady was in the previous series. As long as they like consistently. I want to say as long as they consistently run at them here on uh, Os Omsium. I'm going to butcher the Ricky, run that one back for me, please. Osmium? Osmium. Thank you. You're so smart, man. I mean, I can't Anyways. imagine it's pronounced any other way, but maybe I'm wrong. Shut, please shut up. So Os <laughs> Osmium, as long as they keep the pressure on, I think they're going to be okay. But I've I seen games where the... Well, they just profit just kept like the Storm Spirit boxed at the base for the longest time, and they just forced to take these four v five fights. Thankfully, Medusa is pretty good at that, but your usefulness on like the Enchantress and the Viper is kind of gonna fall off as this game goes on. So, they do have their work cut out for them here. This we could be in for a long ride. Uh, these Nature Prophet and uh, Storm Spirit games sometimes you get a stalemate where neither of them is able to push because both of them are just so good at uh, either defending or split pushing the map. Finding, finding, finding. So. We will see. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> Kotaro is enjoying himself. Okay, I guess they are finally done with all their voice lines. Good stuff. Oh yeah, it's all coming back to me now. Uh, they're no longer Lava. It's three players from Lava, basically, yeah. is what it was. Yeah. Uh, the disconnect. Man, I need to catch up on uh, my essay, Dota. It's been a minute. <laughs> All right. But neither team connecting with each other. We'll see down in the bottom lane. Uh, going for a deep smoke in a place, probably an observer ward up on this high ground. No, actually, they don't. I'm a little bit surprised. Usually, you, you see uh, when you make this sort of smoke rotation at the beginning of the game, they place it on uh, the hell closer Just to the tier two tower on Radiant. Just so they're able to snipe curries either on the way or on the way back. <laughs> and they do that exact thing on uh, Radiant, putting it near the uh, Dyer's tier too. So Enchantress, if they ward up all the, the camps nearby the lane, like at you, at the very least, they're going to be able to, to snipe these couriers coming in. So she's going to be able to be useful uh, no matter what. Uneventful start of the game other than that. Uh, a little bit surprised that... Huh? Are they be able to punish it here? Kits uh, has shield crash. Overlom, oh yeah, if he gets be. the nightmare off, they can get the kill here. And yeah, there it is. Well, nightmare does come through. A few auto attacks. And we'll hand this one over to Kits for the Pangolier. So first blood going the way of your mid lane is quite big. Yeah. And they do see the bounty run, so Overlom is going to head over for that 140 gold going everybody's way. is definitely worth him uh, making that rotation for. So... Ends up being uh, two for two on these bounty runes. All right. Wait, it is ending 
top and then Nature's Prophet is TPing down to the bottom lane. They're playing musical lanes to start this one out, Ricky. Yeah, they uh They definitely wanted I'm I mean I guess I, I honestly don't know why they TP here. Maybe they really don't want to run the Nature's Prophet into the Medusa lane, but it's probably the case. I mean, she deals fairly well with the, the Treants. Or maybe um, they don't want the the Mars into the Viper. Maybe that's what they're trying to all avoid. Right, much, much more likely. I mean, Medusa deals reasonably well with the Treants. So just being able to put shot them down uh, and, like, jump with the Mystic Snake if you try to, like, run in there. But, yeah, melee here up against Viper, not ideal. Just getting run down with this poison attack. So we'll deal with it a little bit easier down here. Um, and I imagine he's still going to be pretty annoying to play against. You probably want to keep the harass up uh, right now, though. While this poison attack is still level one, and yeah, B God, you know, starts his initiation, then getting clicked down by all these trans from Scourge McDuck. Um, mid lane matchup, I want to talk a little bit as well if you have the opportunity to. It looks like uh, not too much aggression down at the bottom. I mean, it looks like they didn't ward uh, the Storm Fierce camp over by the mid lane, so. Uh, Seabass is... Oh, he struggles no. He can move back and do. That was a really sick re-aggro from the Storm Spirit. Kits went for, like, the shield crash into Swashbuckle play for the double range creep, but he pulled the entire wave off his range creeps, and he got double range creep denied. You hate to see it. That's a rough one. Yeah. Either way, uh, the lane's looking pretty good. For both teams, the Viper's the only one who's like really struggling. He has two CS currently. Uh, he, has, he has three now. And a little bit better as we go, but yeah, not an easy lane to CS into, unfortunately for him. And he doesn't have a stick yet either, so. Um, gonna be struggling. Does, does bring a salve whatnot down here, so they're gonna wanna play aggressive and uh, burn through this region on the tiny. No yeah, playing further up on B God. Unfortunately, you know, still not level three on the Viper. That's where he really becomes quite scary. Yeah, I fear, I fear for oh what's going to happen God. with Kataro's Medusa here. This guy farms so fast, and if given the space, should own mid lane. Kit's getting really aggressive on the Pango. Ends up taking a decent chunk of damage there, though. All right. Back in now getting run down. Little voice good. Duck. Yeah, has hit this level three, so they have to be a little bit wary of this Viper. He's got a lot of mana right now as well. He's sitting on two mangoes. I imagine he wants to play aggressive as possible up here. Yeah, he's got two points in the poison attack. Slayton here on the tiny has the boots, so they can definitely use that to try and gap close, get on top of the Mid? nature's prophet. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Pops the fairy fire. Barely surviving. Yeah. And so uh, Seabass is going to make the rotation over to the bounty rune to uh, three minutes. It is scouted by the uh, Observer Ward, so it lets Kits know that he's able to play a little bit close to the lane, safe for a little bit. And he probably wants to try and grab the water rune before the storm gets here. I mean, you because can't make this rotation really on B God because the problem you have is now SMD is just like unable to play on the wave. Yeah. Otherwise, he gets like Avalanche tossed back. And dies yeah, and to Viper. Jacket, and then he, dies. he has yeah. to just instantly TP, but I don't know if that will actually work. Yeah, even that is... Uh, I'm not sure it's going to work. Storm Spirit mid lane. All right. His rotation here on B-God ends up netting Mikhail, though. Slain with the TP rotation will find the return. And he's going to get a big wave of experience here, unless he pulls this off the tower, which he might, to try and save this for the Storm Spirit. You're kidding, right? That's Already... exactly what he's going to do. Oh, my God. What a giving sub. I would never do this. You would just toss, you'd just avatar the I would the simply wave. lose the game. He's going to get a <laughs> nice little sip the of the game. bottle, though, when he comes back, though. Ah, that's uh, a being thanks, such buddy. A good boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good work. Stay hydrated, my man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no way would I ever do that, though. I, I 100, I clear out that wave as quickly as possible. And I, oh, God, forgot. Sorry. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to shove your lane into the enemy team. Very weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a level and a to... half behind now? That's awkward. Awkward how I had to get that. Uh, there's two range creeps there. Ooh, Hurricane down. Back in the bottom lane. Hurricane is such an interesting spell now. Yeah. Uh, you think this thing should do damage? Absolutely. I think it'd be neat with like 100 damage, 150 damage. Yeah. 
Nope. Slade, out of position here. Nice rotation in from the Penguin. Just gets tossed under the tower. Gonna be forced to pop that Rolling Thunder, chase down the Tiny. Maybe an easy kill from him. Oh, oh wait, he won't get the Rolling Thunder kill because of the way this Thunderation changed. Good stuff. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, there's uh, a little bit of buffer time where they're not elite, uh, able to be stunned now, right? Well, that and there's just like, it, it changes like the previous, like, fe like it, it changes how you play the hero now. Like the way it feels is completely different, which is very hard to deal with. Um, uh, Ooh, Bison oh, has nice a nightmare. Here. Wait a minute, he woke himself up. Anyway, mid lane, Pango, able to get out for the moment, but the avalanche is there. Storm Spirit did have that haste room to continue the chase and bottling back up. The toss comes through, Kits goes down, double kill for the Storm Spirit. Looking good indeed. Yeah. Not able to fight into them, uh, uh, Storm Spirit, not when he's got that haste rune available. Walk right over here, bottle up the bounty rune, look back down. Unfortunately, uh, he already grabbed the power rune for himself, so that's gonna be it for bottle charges. He's got two null talismans already, though. Man's on fire. Up at the top lane, we see Mars getting pretty close to level 6. I think this range creep is secured for him. Yeah, it does. But Kitaro, probably too difficult to target for him to get through. Oh, nice it's... avalanche, man. Did he get this around as the kid's dead? The toss? No way. What a stall there from Sladen and Sabas, able to just constantly interrupt that rolling thunder. They end up finding the return kill with the Wrath of Nature, but... Top. I'm pretty well the, done. Uh, I'm certain that Aid ends up going for this kill here. I am certain that he tries to kill the enchanters. There's no way that he gets a. He's so low. So he, but he's got 12 one charges. It is insane. He's getting bullied up by Kayu. This guy's only got 700 max HP. Yeah. Well, I mean, you he definitely don't have Mars. that much damage on the Mars. You'd need Overlom there with the Brain Sap to do it. And it's well, going to be a rotation from kill. Storm potentially. Right here. He's going to do it under the tower here 100%. Well, they will take down Overlom. Aid will be able to take down the tower, at least deny that to the enemy team going, man? and run away. See this? Okay, he's just not going to keep up the chase. Regen rune is bottom of the top lane. Slayton's going to defend that one. Kits needs to try and contest this, but he's just going to zip over to it. Ah, such an awesome start for the Storm Spirit already, man. Yeah, I mean, he is 900 gold in front of this Pango, feeling pretty dang good. SMD is the only hero that's really having an okay time, but it's not like he's out farming the Medusa, and that's very scary. Yeah. I mean, this Deitra's Prophet does become a massive nuisance, and right now he's on the track of being able to go Maelstrom at... Uh, Maelstrom, Aghanim Shard at 15 minutes, which is, you know, really all you need. You start farming like crazy, you shove out lanes like crazy. Uh, it's it's a whole thing, man. I'm not sure how many Nature's Profit games you've watched recently. I've only seen a couple, to be honest. It's yeah. not a hero it I've is, seen picked all that often. It is disgusting. Uh, for for reference, uh, like, you know, there's several Arkosh players that enjoy playing it, so it should speak for itself there. You know, not capable of winning with other things. You know how it is. Mm, I see, I see. Okay. Yeah. Viper. Not able to actually secure himself so many any kills uh, at the beginning of the game here. So playing super far back at the moment as well. He's just afraid of enemies rotating onto him. Ooh. Everyone is playing pretty safe on uh, both sides at the moment. Yeah, they're actually smoked up on this rune, thinking maybe to go for Cat you in the mid lane. They can. B God is six. They'd have plenty of slow to do it. You don't really need the Mars here, but maybe they will. Uh... Oh well. And if you miss the swashbuckle, he's gonna be fine, and that's exactly what happens. Storm pops the regen, he's heading bottom, but he did zip right through a ward, so... He should be out of here on SMD. Instead, he goes right into Sabas here on the Storm Spirit. He's got to break this regen. Okay, he no, will no, finally. Okay. <laughs> it took him a little bit. <laughs> Alright, 10 minutes comes through. Hmm. Again, closer to this Maelstrom. Just to go for the tower. Sparing onto the Viper, plenty of damage there. So they'll find one. The question is, can you get a return key or kill here potentially on Sebastian? They might, is he's looking for more. Big avalanche from Slayton, the toss. That's just a quick double kill for the Storm. Once again, just snowballing his game. Now 10 minutes, 5,000 net worth, six, two and one.
Yeah, slowed down his game a little bit with those two deaths, but honestly, uh, rotation down to the bottom lane has uh, really picked up the pace again for him. I, I I do think they're going to be on the front foot for the next like a uh, couple of minutes here until then. Nature's Prophet hits level 15, anyways. Uh, Medusa, as far as she goes, I mean, farming up the ancient. The storm playing super aggressive like this is, allows uh, Katara to have basically whatever he wants. Fortunately, I think he's yeah. Look at this beautiful. Man, farming the Ancients in the hard camp at the same time and stack the hard camp. Look at this beautiful farming by this man. That's Kataro, man. This guy can carry. Is he just going to go for that first item uh, Manta? Makes the most sense. Get those illusions to start split pushing as fast as possible. Meanwhile, farming the safer area of the map. Yep. We're going to smoke here on Sladen and Drekken as they're going to go ahead and try to enter the enemy jungle here. They do have a ward scouting SMD here. And it's a very easy kill for them if they can get on top of them. Meanwhile, losing inch, not the biggest deal. Viper Strike plus the toss. SMD, gonna go down. Yep. Storm Spirit sitting on 1400 gold by the Okay, he buys the Ogre Axe. I'm curious what he's getting. There's like uh, two things that people get right now on Storm Spirit. They either go Witchblade at the very beginning to help scale themselves, get themselves a little bit of extra armor, like uh, stats, in order to fight. Or they go for a BKB at the very beginning. And up against the Skywrath Mage, the BKB does make a little bit more sense. Yeah, you're 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 dealing with a lot of like big control. Uh, you have the Mars Arena as well. So if he's unable to avoid that, he will just definitely die to the Skywrath Mage. So makes sense. He also just wants to make space for his Medusa, right? Medusa has no intention of joining the team anytime soon. Just gonna continue to farm. And as long as uh oh, Enchantress potentially dying again bottom here. Ah, he'll keep himself alive. He's out. Untouchable's too yeah. good. Yeah. Two points of nature's attendance is really all it takes. What does it say that's still healing him? It's definitely not healing him anymore. <laughs> healing nearby right? units? Maybe it's just a passive buff now? I don't know. No, you definitely activate this. Ah, so he just has a... Very cool. Am I crazy? And it's just bugged. It's, it's games in beta enough. Don't overanalyze it. Maybe it just has to do with the egg game shard. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I probably should have known about it anyways. Rod of Atos still being worked on on the Viper. He's about 800 gold away from that one. I'll have him set up a lot more kills. Right now, between him and Enchantress, they're not able to do much by themselves. Otherwise, people can just TP out. Also shuts down the Panga. You drop that on him when he's uh, trying to roll. He gets rooted up. Shuts down his initiation. He's going for a Diffusal Blade, by the way. Who is? Pango? Pango? Yeah, I think this yeah. is correct. Uh, like, you, like previously, you would go first item Blink Dagger every single game for the Chain Stuns. But mm -hmm. now that that's just not an ability anymore, you just have to go damage on this hero. Like, that part hasn't changed. He still is a pretty heavy damage dealer into the late game. And Fiend's Grip into Mystic Flare. They take down Enchantress. So two big spells committed there. Bounty and Dagger. Oh, he's leaving it for Cat you or Kits rather. Look at this. Incredible Very nice. efficient gameplay. Yeah, beautiful. You love to see it. Bottle back up, King. Uh speaking of bottles, we got an illusion rune bottled there by the Storm Spirit. That's uh, whatever. Who cares? Coming back when this guy's got an arcane rune. Or regen. Smoke up once again here from Osmium in the mid lane. They might just bait Cat you on the Enchantress, honestly, because he just like keeps going in and dying. Oh, they're gonna find an ID. Instead, Overlon plus B God is here. Toss back. They do get the Storm Spirit for a moment, but there's just no follow up damage. They continue to dive for more Storm Spirit, trying to glow, close the gap with a couple of poison attacks. Easy kill for them. So, two heroes dead in the mid lane. Storm's gonna have to back after this, most likely, but we'll see. Maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 15 minute bounty rune's about to spawn, so. The bass will probably move over to that one, pick it up, and go back in the jungle. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing here. He's gonna be just fine. So, everything going their way inside of the Radiant, man. Atos uh, is finished on Viper as well, gonna make things even easier for them. Thankfully, the Egg in him shard is almost done. I'm pretty sure uh, you just buy it now on Scourge McDuck. We'll save up another 200 gold and finish it up and then start pushing the lanes like crazy. You really only need a single point in Sprout for this to be effective as well. Ugh, all right, never mind. He's getting chased out. Oh, 
Yeah, but Toss, so. he does go ahead and get the Arena Spear into the Mystic Flare, though, so a good turnaround. SMD actually comes in for this, takes a Viper Strike to the face, and Kataro do what he can. We'll get that Stone Gaze off, holding the Pangolier back for the moment, but we'll eventually be able to continue the roll, and there's going to be a huge Fiend's Grip from Overlom. No way to cancel it. Osmium in way too deep here as eight on the Mars. Oh, he actually got vision. He's going to pin him to the spear or pin him to the tree, but does end up taking out to that damage. So they will know about that high ground ward. Yeah, JC didn't have mana shield on when that fiend's grouping off onto her. She died with 454 mana there. I think she just dies no matter what. There's no saving her. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, bro, I beat that one a little bit. BKB completed now in the Storm Pit, so he's able to play a lot more aggressive. You still have to be a little bit afraid of the Fiends group coming out, though. I'm but surprised not for the Medusa went in. Like, it just seems like, you know, you stone gaze, your team gets out, and you just go back to farming, but just get a little bit excited there, potentially, in the mid lane, and they're going to pay for that one. They do end up getting the D ward as expected. Nicely done there by the cut. Okay, Scourge McDuck actually went straight for the BKB. He didn't get the Aghanim Shard uh, before that. He had more than enough gold to complete this one as well, so not value would be able to take towers. And surprising that he hasn't managed to make a rotation over to mid lane here. Almost seven minutes into the game, but they've been there doing a decent job holding it. Re inside. Looks like they up. just want to play elsewhere into the enemy team's jungle, it looks like. It's because they know it's not safe around the mid lane. They did get vision for a slight moment there, but they're going into the ward. Draken's gonna be able to get the Atos onto the Mars. Stormgo initiates on the backside with the BKB, doing what he can. He would love to take down B God and Overlom. The BKB just doing so much work here. There's your reveal. Ends up doing wonders. They get a double kill here on the Storm Spirit. They will be able to survive on the Mars, but damage is done, man. He is owning this game. Yeah, all by himself there. He did all of that damage. Nothing from his teammates. Uh, 3,200, oh, 31, almost 3,200 damage coming out from him as he just <laughs> zips through the arena and kills his two supports off. I mean, he did all they could there on uh, the Mars, but this early BKB on Storm showing off its strength. Now Scourge McDuck trying to farm elsewhere. I mean, one of the benefits of this uh, BKB first item that he ended up going is they can't... You have to stone gaze, BKBTPs out. right? You have yeah. to stone gaze, and that's literally it, which is not a good yeah. way of uh, like stopping it. Yeah, but it does mean that that Agnum shard comes out a little bit slower, so it means your push is going to be significantly slower. Bottom tower is under attack. Still 400 gold away, then uh, we'll start seeing the real shit come out from Scourge McTuck. I have Scotty getting closer to Medusa, by the way. I think like that is one of the other major timings we're working on. Uh, yeah. You've already got the Atos done on... Uh, you got Blink Dagger done on Tiny as well. They got to rotate bottom. I don't think they're going to connect with this guy, though. No, they don't. Let's go straight to the Ancients. So, 5k net with disadvantage here at 18 minutes in the game. It's, it's rough out here, man. Yeah, it's going to be... I think just getting worse, honestly. Like, there's not really a point here. No, no it gets better when you get Aghanim Shard, but you have a significant enough advantage that once you have the Scotty, you could potentially run them over. So, you need to have these lanes pushed as soon as the Scotty comes out on Medusa. Uh, and that, I'm not sure, is going to happen. She's got it now. Scotty yeah. is done. Yeah. So. I'm pretty sure they just press this advantage and. This sounds hilarious, but like, try to take these tier twos now. We're gonna see what they can do. Eight with a nice blink spear back, grabs the enchantress, so she is down. They might be able to continue the aggression here in the top side of the map, but your no, nature's no. prophet's the one that has to do it, right? You're talking about, he has the shard now. I'm getting yeah. a second wind. Where the hell is this oh, other treant? Did you lose it? Where's the other big guy? There's no way it's dead. It might have tanked the whole wave initially. Um, I'm probably just crazy. Anyhow, uh, one oh, of them shutting kits at the bottom lane. Oh. Avalanche toss and Fiend's grip right onto the Storm Spirit. That's a big one. There's gonna be the Stone Gaze Stone once again, able to stop the Pango, and he's gone. Very good way of dealing with him. Stuck Stone inside the Sprout. Very funny. Scourge tossed back the BKB. Doesn't matter as he dies anyway. Slayden is owning on this tiny. Finding this two really big kills. 
Yeah, the Stormtrooper was so close to going down that uh, Stone Gate just barely ended up connecting with him. I, I didn't even know that it went that far. He was so far back when he ended up dropping that. It was just within range and Arena not quite separating them. There was B God as well. I'm pretty sure they run them over here. Like, if they fort here on the tier two, you could just go high ground. Hell, oh my God! There's no way they're going high ground anyway, are they? Yeah, this is dude, absolutely what's insane. Stop them. Avalanche, toss back. Viper's here. Mars is dead. He can't get away from this. Oh, right, he's down. He's got buyback available. He might just have to, but no arena for thirty. Arena. What do you do? No, uh, no fiend's grip for sixty. Kits has no rolling thunder. Speaking of kits, he just swashbuckled in. The break is there. You're gonna buy back on the Mars. Do what you can, but. The Flak doing actually a ton of damage there as Scourge will... Oh my god, this Enchantress is a Force Staff. Yeah. Are they all going to get out? I mean, oh it looks god. like you buy it. back on the Mars. The TP can't get the kill. The Mystic Flare doesn't enough damage. All right, they will get Cat you here on the Enchantress at least. But you bought back one. You bought back the Mars. They will all smoke right, up right away. The Cut looking to get aggressive here. But I I mean, did they, they didn't smoke under Vision, right? Okay, they did not. Okay, they're going into Roche, actually. All right, this is a smart Roche. Yep, they paused the game. Oh. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? They paused the game immediately after they win the team fight. They have to be... They know that they're taking Roche on right now, and they're coming for the strategy for it. This is... You think so? They, they got to give a reason. They got to give a reason for this one. I'm telling you. They haven't said anything at all chat right now. They're going to say G after, like, like, 10 seconds here after they come up with a plan. Uh, can't Start counting. All right, maybe Go. it was All just right. suspect. Interesting. Yeah. They have stone gaze available on the Mesa, so they're going to be able to fight into this one. Uh, Pango Roll is still on cooldown. Arena is available, and it's not really going to matter with how tanky she is. And Stone Pier could probably zip all the way into the pit after getting fairly close as well. All right, maybe they, they don't go for it. I mean, they do scan it. They yeah. know. Medusa's illusions yeah. are here as well. Yeah, okay. Uh, they can fight this. It's not falling fast it's... enough. Slayton's on the back side trying to find someone to initiate this. And Storm Spirit's here. He does what he can. Gets Fiend's Grip immediately. But there's the Stone Gaze Overlong. That can't yep. keep him out. And Scourge forced to run with his BKB. He's going to be able to TP out Avalanche. The BKB keeps him alive just long enough. The toss back will find B God and into Roshan. Osmium go here. And now, good luck killing this Medusa twice. As she will, I mean, even though you have Storm Spirit, one of the best Aegis carries, this has to go to the Medusa, right? She's just going to sit on the high ground and tick towers. Yeah, so while all this was happening, all right, Scourge Protect, you need to leave now. Uh, while all this was happening, they smoke out on, on the Storm Spirit and the Tiny. While Scourge, Scourge Protect split pushes bottom lane, like, he could have scouted this. Uh, well, thanks to this observer, but the, again, they're, they're smoked up. They're going to see him in a couple seconds here. They realize that he's underneath these trees. He is already dead. His BKB is still on cooldown. He's actually out of vision for the moment. Oh my gosh, he just barely misses him. Yeah, he's going to realize where he is in a second. I'm pretty sure. Oh, he got him. They saw yeah. him. Yeah. No BKB There's for nine. Small sliver there. He can't do anything. He's just getting ready to cancel a TP as Slayton will make the rotation. And there it is. They get the kill. I, I mean, he was doing the, his, the best he possibly could there on Scourge, like to try and split push and hide. But really good heads up play there from the Storm and the Tiny. And he checked every single spot that, that the Nature's Prophet could have been. Yeah. I man just uh, <laughs> gamer senses knew where he was. They have top outpost, so we'll see the storm TPing up there in a moment as Kataro now getting to work on the top lane tier three tower. Twenty-five or twenty more seconds for the Nature's Prophet can actually even join. Mm -hmm. Oops, Slayton. Goes in. Alright, they're gonna back out Kits with the Rolling Thunder. They're actually holding that stone gaze for now, and instead he's gonna use it to just zone off the rest of the team. Kits, he can't run back into the base. You will just TP instead. Very very slick play from him. Yeah, but they need this Rolling Thunder to go well more than uh, they need the Stone Gaze to go well. So, uh, 
that recovery is just getting more and more difficult. He just they still hold for another minute and 15 seconds. He's building a swift blink on Medusa. She feels confident after blinking to the entire enemy team and just click them down. And that'll allow you a way to interrupt the Fiend's Grip as well. Every single time Fiend's Grip comes out, Medusa blinks in with Stone Gaze. It gets interrupted after two seconds. They are playing around with the Kite half so well. They still don't have this mid-tier one tower, so such an easy point to teleport to. And uh, he's trying to backdoor it. He did some damage. I don't get the fortify off. Unlucky. Yeah. So there it is. Things slightly easier with that one. And you haven't lost a Rax yet. Okay, it's not the end of the world, but you are down 10k. The game is very difficult, but it's winnable. Yeah, it's definitely like there's still potential there. He does already have the Silver Edge finished up on the Medusa, so ended up going for mm -hmm. that instead of the Swift Blink like you were talking about. Um, yeah, Drek didn't show himself. I mean, if he finds kits, he can just. Dead. No, he's dead. Huh? Vortex oh, comes out. Nice fiend script, though. Medusa's not here, though. Ah, uh, Kits will find the kill. Looks like Storm really? Spirit. Oh my no gosh, way. he has the BKB. Hastrun's gonna get popped. He's gonna reinitiate. Can they just take down Overlom in time? He does, and now Scourge. He can't TP out. They can just stone gaze him. He's gonna survive this. There's no way he survives this. The oh my the gosh, BKB. just barely missed. He needs All right. to get back into damage control right now on Scourge deck. He's got to start shoving out other lanes. This is absolutely insane. He clutched that out so hard there on the Storm Spirit. It's not quite enough damage. One more Lightning proc and that would have done it. Yeah, that early BKB man is doing wonders. And there's a regen in the bottom lane that they know about. So he's going to grab this one and be very happy to take this to the next fight. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure he just like targets down uh scourge mcduck wherever he might be with his next regen run all right never mind there's an aid mid he's got a bkb and he's probably just gonna tp with this thing oh all no. right never mind he's going on a storm he's got spear available again he's gonna come back in but he's off he's just baiting him and storm's got that regen going so Gonna be back up to full mana here in just a moment. He's gonna use it to try and scout this Bane. He knows he's here somewhere and he does end up finding him. Just dodging out so many spells and ends up getting himself a double kill beyond godlike at 15 and 2. Unbelievable. Yeah. Morale has to be so incredibly low right now on the side of the cut. It feels like everything they do, he just gets slightly outplayed, slightly outmaneuvered. It is so close to the storm going down and dying as well. At that point, they have like a comeback to the game. He's so far, man. You can't get like the storm. <laughs> as long as the storm is alive, you're not able to deal with the Medusa. As long as the Medusa is alive in like in a team fight, you can't deal with storm because that blink is going to come out after the the stone gaze. He just picks it up now, by the way. He got yeah. silver edge in the blink dagger. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Skyrat's dead. Indeed. And he's doing his best to split push, but again, Storm Spirit, so good at dealing with this type of hero. As he's on his way to the Aghanim Scepter and a shard, is he's you know gonna want to have that shard by 25? Working on Salt Crest now on the Nature's Prophet, extra armor, <laughs> buffing his uh, summoned units, with the extra attack speed, and whatnot as well. I don't think it's gonna change anything though. You need a way to shut down the Storm Spirit, <laughs> and you have stuns, but again. The coordination <laughs> on the radiant side. Cat is just baiting amazing. here. He knows that they're here. He knows that they're smoked up as they placed a ward sentry. And he's just baiting. He just walks into them and they actually can't do anything about it. Yeah. Willem is distracting them. Um, Slayton's going to try to look for him, but it's not going to connect. And he's going to start split pushing down here now on Nature's Prophet, while Kits is going to try to cut the creep wave. But Slayton's waiting for that. He's got his blink dagger ready. He knows that they're coming for this one. Oh, man, the reads on this, they even scan it out. Oh, they got him. Kits does get the Rolling Thunder off just in time. Some of us will get the BKB. Fiend's Grip comes through. They, they finally get the Storm and Tiny gets punished as well. The question is, can they get out though with these two kills? Medusa slept by Overlom, has his DD rune, continuing to chase here with the Silver Edge, won't find any of these heroes. So a Somebody's really good the find there by the cut. Yeah. They really needed those as well. They ended up getting 6,300 XP for those two kills. Net worth swing of like uh, 2,200. I mean, the net worth is a start. It's... 
it's a it's a start. <laughs> yeah, it's a, that's uh, that is correct. But the XP is a pretty big deal. I, well, what I will say though is uh, you made it for great movements, good for duck, like in the Ooh, middle of that lane? team fight. Viper, I mean, stuck around way too long and kits. Can be able to do gonna work here on this Rolling this Thunder if they can keep vision of her. Medusa? She's just they, out. No one has detection. They don't have detection. They just don't have detection. Eight is going to try to follow. Dude, Medusa might just turn. They see him? I mean, he's got... Oh, oh he dodges my this God. With the what a gamer. Oh, he's got silver bong, to get. He's going to break bong, him. Bong. Four staff through. Oh, that is disgusting. Kits is dead, too. Four staff back there by Cat. You really sick play, and now turning their attention to Overlaw. He's trying to TP, but he can't do it. Triple kill for Kataro. Very well deserved. An insanely sick play from him. And guess what? Arcane rune for the Storm Spirit. <laughs> Sees it in the river. The only thing I believe that he's waiting on is his bottle. Need his prophet show. His bottle come back. Need his prophet showing in a lane. As soon as he sees, yeah, he passes it off now on Cat. You over to Sebastian. The moment he sees Gurge McDuck. He's going to be homing in on him. Oh, God, he might, he might just run down the mid lane. I mean, if only they had detection off of that one. They, they would have been able to kill Medusa. None of these three heroes would have died. And what a much better shot for this one now. Nothing going to stop them from heading down this mid lane. And unfortunately, the other two lanes aren't pushed in enough for this Nature's Prophet to threaten anybody back and off this Rax. Yeah, they may not have actually known that Kotaro had a Silver Edge there because I don't think he had actually used it yet. So they were just maybe a little unaware of the, the invis, but like you said, middle lane of Barracks Falls. Turn their attention up to top. They do have everyone respawning here in just a moment. 15 seconds for the Mars. She does have everything available, but the question is, can you even kill this Medusa now that she has this BKB? No. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. But they'd have to make a huge misplay to make that happen. Uh, either like the BKB doesn't get off, the Storm Spirit doesn't get in and just interrupt uh, the Fiend's grip and stun the entire enemy team as they're on Medusa with this Agnum Scepter that's coming out right now. Here it is, just a couple seconds. There you go. Uh, it is... I, I don't think it's winnable. You have to make some massive, massive mistakes at this point on the Radiant side. He's I mean, still, still chipping trying. away at the bottom tower. I will say that much. He's trying, yeah. but yeah, it is incredibly dangerous with the storm, especially with how much more farmed he is than you. You're more farmed than him. He just feels stronger than you. I mean, he's definitely finding net worth here on Scourge, right? Like he's got a lot of CS this game. The the problem is that like they just send the Viper back. It's not like he's a big part of their team fight. Right? Like I don't. I, I'm not like saying that in a bad way to to Draken. He just goes back to. Oh, he has been found. They do have Fiend's Grin. Oh, okay, they could be able to turn this on him. He's, He's got to be KB engine. in a moment. Yeah. Sanj status resistance is too good, and Scourge just does not have the damage quite yet. He's going to be forced to BKB. He can't TP out. Yeah, well dead. done. I mean, maybe if the Storm Spirit didn't have the Kaya Sanj. Maybe if he didn't have uh, the Arcane Rune, he would have been able to keep up the chase with him afterwards, but he sees it on him and he just knows he's not going to be able to go on him. And that's what we were talking about earlier. Even though he has BKB, you can't TP out if the Medusa's there, so. Yeah. Yeah. In the bottom lane, they do force the Storm Spirit back because of the summons of the Nature's Prophet, but they found uh, I'm pretty sure he just like... Okay. He just wants to stay on top of him, hold him inside though. the arena. I mean, it's worth it, I'm pretty sure. Well, Not if, if you it get him, it's to worth it. On you. All right. Roll up here from Kits. We'll get the Rolling Thunder. Oh, my God. Kataro is a DD rune. All right. That's and spooky. Storm's about to come in as well. He's waiting for the setup. I mean, he might not even have to. He's looking for the Skywrath Mage. Doesn't manage to find him. Yeah, you know, that's the second DD Medusa we've seen today or in this game. And now has Swift Blink going to go into the Roche Pit since there's already a Centaur scouting it out. And this Roche is dying very fast. Yeah, quick work of this thing. I'm surprised Viper didn't again, go for the shard so they can, you know, push buildings faster and stuff. But regen rune, by the way. Oh, very good runes this game for the side of Osm Osmium. They've basically had like regens, arcanes, and DDs on cooldown for the last like, yeah. uh, like six. Oh no, runes. there was the haste of the star uh, for diving the mid tower at like the best uh, the time that the haste was best. Yeah. 
I want to forget about that one. <laughs> Sometimes you just ruin real good, like. Yeah, it's true. Quinn Callahan, uh, very, very good at using runes. Medusa up on the high ground, doing some work here. Kits will be forced to roll up. He does have Rolling Thunder. I mean, he's going to have to be very careful. Storm Spirit puts to sleep there. Kits will have to use the roll, but is dodging it out here on Kataro. He could just I mean, click they... the Pango, honestly. They go ahead and jump the backline. Fiendscript once again dropped on the Storm Spirit. His BKB is committed, but he manages to survive once again until B-God comes in and ends his life. Scourge McDuck here trying to hobble away, but Kataro... That arena falls and your protection falls with it as you crumble one by one here on the cut. Nothing you can really do here. There's going to be two more buybacks coming through. They might be able to get Cat you, but he gets four staffed out. A second one from the Medusa, or from someone. I don't really know who that came from, but Medusa is speared against the wall. Can they actually bring down the raid boss? The break is there. The Mars not reducing any of that damage. Toss back from Slade and Overlom into the hands of the Medusa. And now Kid's trying to do what he can. B got in trouble. A Aggressive blink after blink from Kataro here. Your base belongs to the Medusa. It belongs to Osmium here as die back after die back. Four heroes fall, and they're gonna call the GG. Yeah, that's it. And Osmium, in this game, it felt absolutely insane. I want to open this chart. I mean, win probability has been like 99% for the last couple of minutes, but the reads on what the cut were doing, the outplays in the team fight, everything from the storm in this game was absolutely wild storm played I, incredible yeah the one time that they almost got momentum in the game like they managed to find a kill they move over to, to take roshan and then immediately everything they do is bread like the storm bear uh moves into the pit alongside his team with Gitaro. every single time a, a fiend's grip came out in the early game when it mattered the stone gaze ended up interrupting it and they make the smoke rotation down to the bottom lane and catch out the nature's profit it was all so perfect from uh, Osmium, and <laughs> I am worried about these other teams now after watching that one. Yeah, I mean, this team we knew was good, right? Like, they, they performed pretty well in the DPC. We know how strong they are. Like, these players have a, a lot of experience under their belt, so it's not all that surprising that they perform really good here at the uh, Pro Series as well, but the cut, yeah, man, not the best performance in game number one. No uh hopefully they bounce back off of this one things just happened a little bit too slow again the outplay made things probably feel a little bit worse than they actually were uh and it's just profit going down a couple of times you pay for it so heavily each and every time but again you just couldn't find good recoveries with the, those fiends grip in the early game and us being balling too far out of control eventually nobody other than scourge mcduck was really doing anything 